Hello friends and welcome to another episode of Team Jesus Outdoors. Hey guys, it's midwinter, so the bad news is if you're not an ice fisherman, there's not much opportunity to get on the water right now without heading south. But hey, for all you diehard walleye anglers out there, now is the time to start prepping your gear for the walleye season to come. If 2022 proves to be a relatively normal year, we should have about a month left. We should have about a month to six weeks left before the ice is out of the river. We can start jigging or maybe even get our boats into Lake Erie. But hey guys, now is the time. Head to your man cave, head to your garage and start prepping your tackle for the upcoming jig fishing season. Here's a few of the tips that I do over the winter to be prepared for the spring jigging season and or some spring trolling on Lake Erie. So hey guys, first and foremost, I go through all of my tackle. I go through my jig bag, I go through my crankbaits bag, and I take inventory. I make a list of I make a list of anything I need. If I'm short on a particular color of jig or I'm short on a particular color of soft plastic, uh, now's when I take inventory of that. Make sure that I have plenty of time to order that stuff before the season starts. Guys, I tie my own stinger hooks. Now's the time that I, now's the time that I count my stinger hooks, figure out how many I got, figure out how many I need tie up two or three dozen stinger hooks for the season to come. I am not the right guy to do a stinger hook how-to tie video because I've got big old fingers. I'm missing one of my thumbs and my eyesight isn't what it used to be. There are plenty of how-to jig tying. There are plenty of videos out there on YouTube on how to tie jig stingers. Hey guys, just in the past year I've started tying up my own crawler harnesses. And there's a couple of good reasons to tie your own crawler harnesses. Uh, first of all, you can guarantee that you have quality components, which is a big deal, particularly quality line in your crawler harnesses. The Snell knot is one of the best knots you can possibly use for attaching any of your hooks to your either your stingers or your crawler harnesses because a Snell knot isn't a knot at all. It's a hundred percent knot strength because it really isn't a knot at all. Second of all, you guarantee you get the colors that you want without having to search for them. And maybe best of all, there's just something fun about catching fish on baits that you made. Notice I didn't mention anything about cost because if you're using quality components, you're not necessarily going to save a whole bunch of money tying up your own crawler harnesses. Which is fine with me. I'm, I'm, I don't do it to save the money. I do it to guarantee that I have quality components. Guarantee that I have the color combinations that I want. And I just find enjoyment in doing it. With both of our hooks securely attached. Both with a snell knot. Now it's time to put, put our, now it's time to put our beads on. And given that we're using a using that we're giving a pretty big blade, we're gonna go with six beads. I know my knots are solid. I get the blade colors and the blade sizes that I want. Hey, now's a great time to re-spool your trolling reels, re-spool your jigging reels. Now's a great time to make sure that your your trolling reels are calibrated I find it a little bit easier to calibrate my trolling reels when it's a little bit warmer out but if you're bored enough in the winter there's certainly an opportunity to do it in the winter as well we really only have eight to ten weeks on an average year where we can't be chasing walleye in open water hey guys another great idea for your off-season walleye prep because we really don't have a lot of walleye off season. So in that short walleye off season, another great idea is to change out those 
treble hooks on your crankbaits. I think a lot of guys overlook the importance of good quality treble hooks and good sharp treble hooks. If you've been running around for a full season with your treble hooks in your Plano boxes, bouncing around your boat, there's a good chance they've dulled. In fact, it's almost guaranteed that they've dulled. So winter is a great time to check all those treble hooks. I know me personally, I've got a couple of hooks that are bent. I set those baits aside over the fall. But now's a great time to change those treble hooks out. Make sure you use high quality treble hooks. Make sure you use high quality split rings. You might as well change the split rings while you're at it. We got both of our hooks snelled on our main line. We've got six beads. We're going to use a quick release clevis. our Colorado blade using a quick release clevis making sure that the quick release opening is in the front not in the back perfectly working custom crawl harness that we're going to attach just a swivel at the other end That's my barrel swivel with a polymer knot. And there we go. That is our crawler harness. While I know I've shared this tip in the past, I'll go ahead and share it again for those who may not have seen it. But I, I use pool noodles to store my crawler harnesses. Hey guys, like I said, we've only got, I don't know, four to six weeks and there's a good chance we could be back on the water. I hope these tips have been helpful to you. Hey, I hope that you're subscribed to Team Jesus Outdoors. I hope you'll smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, I hope you'll consider subscribing to us. Guys, God bless. Tight lines. We'll see you guys on the water.